Oh, hey, what are you doing here? In the family room at Good Art. Look at these beautiful flowers. These are from Polly. Uh, Polly sews all of our leather goods and he's amazing, but he also brings the flowers in every day. But that's not what I'm here to talk to you about today. Uh, this is a clip eight and this is like one of my favorite everyday carry items. Um, maybe you guys know the acronym EDC. We make a lot of stuff like that that fits into that category. It's kind of my middle name. It always has been like the stuff I've gravitated towards making. It just happens that my medium is gold and silver and uh, precious metal is not so much like brass and steel. And as a result, I find that a lot of these feel very sort of luxed up and luxurious. And so we've got this acronym that uh, I coined called Everyday Luxury Carry, which is EDLC. I wanted to share this clip because this is kind of in that world. This is um, the more bitchin' pieces. The general idea is the same. It's a, a spring-loaded clip with a nice sturdy arm and you can drag it across your pants to put it on, take it off with one hand. This is the B size. A little more, a little more bigger. A, more bigger, B. Um, that's funny, there's an A and a B spring ring. So this kind of thing works with the uh, AirPods. You grab a spring ring and your AirPods. Look at this. Hello. This is a little kit, you know? This is, this is your thing. It's my thing too, but it could be your thing. You put your own things on there and it's totally your thing. Probably my favorite part of the process, well, it's the, it, the, my two favorite parts. It's the, the bench work and then the polishing because they're sort of the core of, of the making. Prior to that, it's wax work and sort of preparation to do things and then the casting. But once you get to the bench work, you're working with a solid piece of metal and it's very visceral and there's hammering and grinding and noise and it's it's different kind of work once the bench starts because uh, it's sort of like that concept of Michelangelo and the piece of marble and trying to sort of uh, take out everything that doesn't belong and leave the part that's there. So you do a lot of that on the bench, then you take it into the polishing room and as you start to hit that wheel and get all those little molecules to align and the surface gets real smooth, it's, it's instant gratification over the course of a few hours. But yeah, it's kind of like that. It's, uh, it's the opposite of sandcastles. So um, that's some of my favorite shit right there. Mic drop. All right. Oh, I was looking for my water. <laughs> <laughs>